Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe and today we're doing a first impressions of the MAC Cosmetics and Patrick Star collaboration. Jeez Louise. I'm the worst. MAC Cosmetics, Patrick Star collaboration. I'm not gonna hold it at such an angle. No eyeshadows were harmed in the making of this intro. Thank God. So this is the box with the whole collection. Patrick Star looking absolutely scrumptious. Check it out. This is super exciting because, well, a lot of us makeup artists on YouTube have started at MAC, and I know I did, and so did Patrick. So this is super dope, and it's really cool to see MAC recognize somebody as awesome. I'm a huge fan of MAC Cosmetics. I know Patrick is, so I couldn't think of a better person to do a first collab with. This is the collection. I'll show you what's inside. So we have the setting powder that is supposed to be a satin finish, almost uh, the same texture as skin. It's not really matte and not really sparkly or dewy, but same texture, just how skin is. There's two eyeshadow quads, which are beautiful and everything. They feature some of my all-time favorite MAC shadows. Three lipsticks. This is the special packaging like hello. You got your own packaging with MAC. Pretty tight. These are the three shades. Patrick Wu, Mama Star, and She Better Work. So this is amazing and hilarious because there's Ruby Wu, there's Riri Wu, and now there is a Patrick Wu. We also have three lip glosses that are the same color story as the lipsticks and they have the same name, so Patrick Wu, She Better Work, and Mama Star. There's also three lip pencils, which I think are in the regular um, in the regular lineup of lip pencils at MAC, but these have the special Patrick Star packaging. So that's the collection. I'm gonna do little swatchy swatches and then I will try some of the stuff on. What I think I'm gonna do just to really experience the product is I'll do a couple makeup looks for you. But first, let's do some swatches. So first we have the Glam AF eyeshadow quad. It looks like we have three colors that are in their regular lineup uh, or their stable um, eyeshadows and then one that I believe is designed by Patrick Star. So we have brulee, which is kind of like a bone cream white color. We have saddle, which I think everybody and their moms should have because it looks good on everyone. Amazing transition shade. Embark, which is an OG shadow. I used to go to MAC and almost every day wear Embark and saddle. And I think I used it for like my first 10 makeup tutorials. And we have this shade here in the top corner, which is the one I think that Patrick made because it is called Oh My Good. Oh My Good? Oh my god. Anyways, it's called Oh My God. Anywho, I'm gonna do a little swatchy swatch for you. So these are the swatches of the Glam AF colors. So Brulee, Oh My God, Saddle, and Bark. So Saddle's a very beautiful warm tone. And Bark is actually a warm brown, but on golden, olive, or deeper skin tones, it will neutralize a little bit. But if you want a true brown and you have a hard time finding one that doesn't go too gray on you and Bark is a really great one, MAC comes through with the quality on on eyeshadows. So I'm gonna keep those swatches there because I wanna swat, swatch, swatch. I wanna swatch the next eyeshadow palette beside it because when I first looked at the two, I'm like, oh, these look mad similar. So I'll show you what they look like in comparison next to each other. So this is the Goal Getter eyeshadow palette uh, by Patrick Star. This has soft brown, amber lights, OG color, Swiss chocolate, and I'm into it, which I believe is one that Patrick created. Soft brown, another OG. It's like the light skin best friend of saddle, I feel like. So if you're fair skin, soft brown's amazing for a transition, or really they're so pigmented you could use them on anybody. Soft brown is actually bomb as a replacement for brulee on darker skin tones, so if you want that kind of light highlighted brow bone highlight or inner corner highlight and you've got quite deep skin, this is poppin'. Also Swiss chocolate, which is almost like a mauve warm brownie color. It's almost a little darker than saddle, definitely more on like the mauve brown side. I'll give you a swatch so you can see. Amber Lights OG, that was one of my first eyeshadows I got from MAC. It was Amber Lights Nylon, which is like this white gold, which I must smash in the inner uh, corners of my eyes every single day. And then I also got Carbon, which is Max Black. And then the last one is I'm not into it. Or I'm into it. Oh, I'm into it. 
geez, negative. So this one's I'm Into It, which is a stunning burgundy. I'm gonna do those swatches right beside so you can see what they look like in comparison. So this is the other uh, Goal Getter eyeshadow quad. So we have Soft Brown, Amber Light, Swiss Chocolate, and I'm Into It. They're beautiful, obviously. What I really like just based off of the swatches is that there's not a lot of collaborations that are done, I think, with people of color in mind. A lot of shadows can look a little bit milky or ashy, I find, on me. And I feel like whether you're super fair, super deep, or anywhere in between, I feel like you can wear any of these palettes and slay the game. So I think that's a beautiful thing. I don't think that there is a skin color that couldn't slay in this. So I'm going to do um, an eyeshadow look for you. You guys. I just did this whole eyeshadow thing, then I got up to find my eyelashes, and I realized I wasn't recording the whole time, so... I'm not impressed. Hell, uh, look, go to waste. I'm gonna take off this eye and redo it for you, because I love you. So I left the mascara on because I'm going to take it off in a second anyways. It's time like this where I'm happy I'm not somebody who takes hella long to do eyeshadow. So we're going to be using the Goal Getter eyeshadow palette. We started with soft brown here and we're going to go in our crease like so. <laughs> we're just basically creating our transition right quick okay step two i'm gonna go into the swiss chocolate right here we are going to basically line our crease a little bit i don't know if the camera picked that up but that's okay um and kind of draw out our shape this is actually great i see where people do one eye first whenever they're doing tutorials it makes sense anyways we're going to darken in here a little bit leaving this lid space bare winging this out a little bit going back in with soft brown to soften it up a little bit or you could use a clean brush then we're gonna go into I'm into it this shade right here we're drawing a little line so what I was saying I think I don't know if I said it I'm gonna do one where the drama is all on the top with one of the eyeshadow looks and one with the drama all on the bottom so this is the one with all the drama on the top lid so once you draw your kind of connecting line you can just blend it about halfway like that now I just keep thinking like what if I said some hot fire that I don't remember that was in the other tutorial I thought I was doing or the other video clip I thought I was doing that wasn't even recording. I'll never know. YouTube struggles. Then we're gonna go into Amber Lights, this fella right here, and we're gonna go on the other half of the eye to meet with the dark color. And I'm just rolling it on my eyelid. And there, I think we're pretty much up to speed with the other eye now. Okay, moving on. Hello? Hello, this is conducting an important transportation study. The goal of the study is to understand daily commuting habits, such as walking, biking, auto, and public transit. Would you still like to participate? It takes about seven to eight minutes, and we'll go through the questions as fast as we can. I'm actually just uh, doing something right now. Is it okay if we maybe do this another time? Can we call back a little bit later tonight? Sure. You have a great day. You too, bye. I'm never answering my phone again. Oh, my phone. My lash glue isn't wet anymore. Great, you ruined it, bud. You ruined it. How'd they get my fucking phone number? So I'm just putting some eyelashes on real quick. So I think for this look, I'm going to... I'm gonna try on the lip glosses. So this is She Better Work. This reminds me of like old school MAC days where I would wear a snob and myth all the time. It's not typically a color I'd wear, but let's try it with the lip liner. Kind of cute. I actually kind of like it. I feel a little Barbie-ish, but it's cute. Next, this is Mama Star. This color is beautiful. This is a gorgeous gloss. Like this is something I could see myself wearing every day. This is really pretty. And I'll show you with the lip liner just to see what it looks like. And obviously if you want the line to be more prominent, you could do it first. This is super beautiful. I love this one a lot. Last but not least, we're going to do Patrick Wu. And I think for this one, I'm going to use the brick liner first. Mm. 
This is freaking beautiful. Oh my god. Now that other eyeshadow makes sense. This is stunning. I love this one very much as well. So that's the Patrick Wu with the brick liner. Stunning, super high pigment. With that being said, I'm gonna take this off and the eyeshadow and we're gonna do our next look. Okay, the face has been reset and we're gonna go into the Glam AF palette. So this palette actually has some of my favorite colors of all time, Saddle and Embark. OG makeup shades. So we're gonna start off with a little brulee. Just gonna highlight my eyelids. I'm gonna do like a look that I used to do all the time when I worked at MAC with these colors. So I'm not brulee, I just use concealer. So all I'm doing is highlighting my eyelid. That's it. Then I'm gonna go into the shade Saddle. This one right here. I'm just going to exaggerate my crease. So I put the shadow on one side. I'm putting the bare side on my lid and the side with shadow on it on my crease. Just wing it out a little bit. I still do this look actually. I don't know what I'm talking about. Then I'm gonna go into Embark. And this is where all the drama is gonna be on the bottom. Basically with this one, I'm just going to pretend it is winged liner. I'm just going to pull it out and then from there I'm just going to drop it down and connect it underneath. To blend that all out I'm going to take saddle again and just work that underneath so that the Embark can blend into my skin flawlessly. I think I'm going to take a little bit of my Embark and fill my waterline carefully. Next was, oh my god, I'm gonna fill in the inner corners of my eyes. It's really doing it for me, you know? And this would be a good time because I just realized I didn't to use. I wanted to give the setting powder a try. So I'm gonna use a synthetic brush. I'll just show you what it looks like. I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of like a peachy tone. So it's a perfect neutral. I know with myself, I have a really hard time finding setting powders. First of all, I don't really use them. Two reasons. One, they make me look very dry and they're too matte. And two, they are too yellow, too orange, too whatever, or too white. Um, so this looks like a perfect neutral and I'm excited to try it. So you could bake with this. I don't really bake because I am dry, but I just want to try this out and see how it looks. So it's a setting powder. I'm assuming it's not translucent to the fullest, but I'm ass yeah. Let's see what I think here. Hmm. As so somebody who does not set their foundation, I think this is really pretty, and I don't feel dry. It's pretty nice. Although to get a proper review on the powder, I would probably go to somebody's channel who does use powder frequently. I think it feels really nice. It's a very silky texture. It feels like my skin. And I have no highlighter on, so I just have done that over my concealer. I like it. Okay, I'm gonna go into the In Extreme Dimension mascara again, and I'm gonna put on the same lashes. Let's just keep it simple. I used to wear this one every day. And I used to wear it because it was so chunky, but now I'm like, is it too chunky? Pretty cute for the bottom lashes though. Keeping it simple, wearing the same lashes in two looks. Yeah. <laughs> Makeup has me feeling some type of way. Nostalgic, sexy, fun, fresh. Everything has happened in this video. Telemarketers called me, forgot to film doing my makeup. I feel extra deluxe with this type of look on. Let's uh, go light to bright. This one is the She Better Work. Giving me snob lipstick vibes. Very OG MAC. Let's throw a little lip liner on. See what's really good. Just gives it some body. This one is the Mama Star. This is so beautiful. This is the mahogany lip liner. Ombre it up. That's cute as heck. And now Patrick Wu, the one I've been excited to try. Sharpen it a bit with brick liner. 
Alrighty, so that completes our review, first impression slash tutorial thing. I hope you all enjoyed. Congratulations, Patrick Star. The collection is beautiful. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and follow. Let me know which look was your favorite. Love yourself, stay pretty, and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Take care.